Hello and welcome back to our channel. In this, we are going to uncover the truth about water being added to meat and how it affects the food we consume. Ever wondered if the chicken you're buying is as pure as it seems? Join us as we delve into the world of meat processing and explore the reasons behind water addition in meat. Let's get started. Have you ever thought about what goes into that delicious plate of chicken with fries, chicken satay, or chicken shawarma you occasionally indulge in at a restaurant? Shockingly, what you're enjoying might be only 70% actual chicken. But what's the story behind the chicken breast you pick up from the local supermarket? Is it too treated with water? In this eye-opening video, we'll unravel the intriguing tale of why water finds its way into our meat, the methods used for this process, and ways for you to identify it. In recent decades, there has been a monumental surge in the consumption of chicken globally, often heralded as an affordable and protein-rich source of meat chicken has become a staple enjoyed worldwide. Leading nations such as the United States, China, Brazil, and the European Union stand as titans, both in producing and consuming chicken on a massive scale. The practice of adding water to various types of chicken meat holds significant commercial appeal due to the resulting increase in weight. By injecting chicken with water, a chicken breast weighing around 200 grams can be transformed into a chicken breast weighing approximately 250 grams. It's a simple equation. A larger chicken breast means more revenue for the chicken seller. In essence, four chicken breasts make a kilogram instead of five, boosting profits. However, when it comes to the law, unprocessed meat, raw meat is strictly off limits for water infusion. If this practice is detected, the product can no longer be labeled as pure meat. Unprocessed meat specifically refers to meat that hasn't undergone marination, grinding, breading, smoking, or seasoning. The inclusion of any of these preparatory methods alters the scenario entirely. Contrastingly, processed meat, such as cold cuts, hamburgers, or marinated chicken breast, allows for the addition of water. This is sanctioned, provided it is clearly stated on the label. Moreover, if the end product contains more than 5% added water, the label must clearly state with added water, with a mandatory disclosure of the precise water percentage. But this phenomenon isn't exclusive to chicken alone. Water addition is a practice also prevalent in other meats. Beef and pork, for instance, can also be subjected to this treatment. The goal remains the same to enhance the weight of the meat, thus amplifying profits for sellers. The process involves injecting water into the meat, sometimes with the inclusion of salts or other additives. This treatment is widely used and accepted in the meat industry. If there is processed chicken on the ingredient list of your package, the chances are high that additives or E-numbers have also been used. That is to say, substances deliberately added to the meat. Water binders E450 and E451 are common, for example. So, the next time you shop for chicken, beef, or pork at the supermarket, remember, you might be purchasing meat with an unexpected secret ingredient water. This phenomenon is absent in unprocessed meat, like a plain raw chicken breast or a fresh cut of beef or pork. However, be prepared when selecting processed meat, whether marinated, seasoned, ground, breaded, or smoked water, alongside binding e-numbers, might just be one of the listed ingredients. Stay informed and make conscious choices about the food you consume. Thank you for watching our video on the inclusion of water in meat and the impact it has on our choices at the grocery store. Stay informed and make conscious decisions about the food you consume. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insightful content. See you next time as we continue to unravel the mysteries of the culinary world.